So now we're going to talk about testosterone. And a very common myth here that testosterone causes prostate cancer to grow. So, of course, when you're um, in your 50s, 60s, 70s, you're showing signs of prostate enlargement, uh, taking testosterone can potentially aggravate the uh, prostate turning into cancer cells. Now, is this fact or fiction? So a great study that was done in uh, 2006, Testosterone and Prostate Cancer, a, a Historical Perspective on a Modern Myth. There were actually no reports of prostate cancer in men treated with testosterone after their radical prostatectomy. So in other words, uh, men who had a history of prostate cancer who potentially could have some stray cells circulating uh, despite their prostate being removed were put on testosterone and there was no uh, uh, growth of prostate cancer uh, using testosterone therapy. <coughs> the study went on to report there was no relationship between testosterone, uh, DHT, which can be a more uh, aggravating form of testosterone for men, or estradiol uh, as in any relation to prostate cancer growth. Another study that was done in 2008, which uh, studied almost 10,000 men um, 3,800 men with prostate cancer with 6,400 controls. There was absolutely no association found between the risk of prostate cancer and, um, and all the following hormones, testosterone, free testosterone, DHEA, androstenedione, androstenediol, estradiol, and free estradiol. And the conclusion here, which is very powerful and very convincing, in men, testosterone concentrations are inversely related to mortality due to cardiovascular disease and all causes, including cancer. Huge, huge uh, refuting of a, of a common myth that testosterone can actually help to prevent death from all causes. So can, testosterone is one of those things that helps you keep your muscle mass, uh, helps prevent uh, cardiovascular disease and stroke and uh, Alzheimer's and, uh, and, and also uh, maintains uh, adequate circulation. Another common uh, view is that testosterone causes angry, aggressive behavior. So it's very important that men not have too much testosterone because uh, they, they get too aggressive. Well, the reality is testosterone can actually increase positive mood and decrease negative mood. The key here is making sure that the testosterone levels are at uh, physiologic doses and uh, in the bioidentical range. Uh, the link between testosterone and aggression is mainly for those uh, people, including athletes, who supplement high levels of steroids and testosterone. And uh, their, their bodies are obviously getting way too much, and um, it, it is affecting their behavior. Um, but for the rest of us, um, low levels can actually... And, and going on testosterone therapy can actually enhance your mood and also the uh, cognition or thought processes. This particular study um, in 2002, exogenous testosterone aggression and mood in eugonadal and hypogonadal men, they found that it, if testosterone was um, regulated to a physiologic dose, there was less depression and moodiness. Uh, the men had more energy, more, they were more sociable, more gregarious, 
uh, testosterone replacement therapy for low levels actually reduced aggression. And <clears throat> there was, uh, uh, for, for testosterone therapy, uh, for normal levels showed no increase in aggression. 